Clear. Right, the House votes on the tax plan today. Joining us now, Congressman Claudia Tenney, Republican from New York. Claudia, welcome back. We always appreciate Good you being morning. with us. Straight up, first question. You a yes or a no today? I'm turned to a yes today. Why? And, uh, well, first of all, I want to get the process moving forward. As you know, this, this is our proposal. It's our version of the bill. It's not perfect. There's a lot I like about it. There's some things I don't like. There's some things we fought to get back. We got a concession on the so-called state and local tax deduction. Um, as it relates to my district, probably 95 percent or almost 99 percent when you add in the tax credits, the child, uh, the child care credit and the other tax credits back in, you move the property tax deduction up to 10,000. That pretty much covers most of my district. And remember something, deducting this, the uh, income tax, the high New York State income tax, is something that is going to affect high wage earners. But my district consists of a lot of state employees, a lot of public employees, teachers, uh, corrections officers, police officers, police and fire. Those people don't pay income tax uh, at all. They're waived on their retirement. So this is going to be good for retirees. The corporate rate going down to 20%, I've heard you discuss in the, in the other side of, the, uh, of this block. Also bringing the personal income tax rate and the pass-through rate down for entrepreneurs and small businesses who create almost 70 percent of the new jobs, who are the dynamism of our economies. We need to bring the Rust Belt back up in central New York. So the pros outweigh the cons, and I want the process to go forward. I'm hoping some of the things we're fighting for will continue to be added in so I can have the rest of my New York colleagues join me. I understand New York City. It's a tough road for them right now. But in my district where I get elected, it's looking good for us and bringing back the Rust Belt. And so I have to vote yes on this today. Okay. I think you've got the 218 votes. I don't think there's any doubt about that now. If yeah. Claudia Tenney says yes, that bill yeah. will pass. Okay. <laughs> yes. Claudia, I want my... Go ahead. I, I, I really have to change subjects for a second. And this is oh, an important okay. stuff I want to get to. And I think you know what's coming. We've got a former Capitol Hill staffer who spoke about harassment on Capitol right. Hill to our own Laura Ingram. Roll that tape, please. During that time, I experienced harassment. And at that time, I didn't even know that it was harassment. I called it an inappropriate experience. And what were those comments? Or? I experienced in the conversation where a person basically offered me uh, an opportunity to flirt with him in order to, ex to excel in my career. And that was the gateway for uh, the harassment, me realizing, okay, I've got to get out of here. Because if I don't, then I only have one option, and that's to comply. And I don't want to participate in that, so I've got to just leave. Claudia, could this expand uh, further from this mm -hmm. and become truly ugly and widespread in Congress? You know, what I, how I look at it is the, these people who are victims are finally going to get the chance to be heard, as one former presidential candidate said. And I stood up as a member of the New York State Assembly and called out the resignation of Sheldon Silver, who covered up sexual harassment in the State Assembly using a secret slush fund. Almost looks very much like what we're seeing today in Congress. I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, I'm putting forth a bill. We're working on legislation to try to curb that. Why are the taxpayers funding this secret slush, shush, whatever they want to call it, fund? I saw the Laura Ingram interview yesterday. This is something that has to happen, and I'm glad the Democrats are finally waking up and finding out that this is something that happens in Congress and stop shilling and protecting uh, people that, who have done this on both sides of the aisle. So, yeah, this is an important topic, and uh, it's right in my wheelhouse after my term in the State Assembly. I was threatened after I came out against Sheldon Silver, and guess where he is today? He is convicted of uh, corruption charges, but way back in 2012, this was covering up sexual harassment in our House. It's, it's something that we have to stand up for, especially as a woman member of Congress. Claudia Tenney, always a so welcome guest on Varney and Thank Company. you. Thank you.